think? I like it. I'm going to get to experience some gigantic waves in a second. What do you think, Tom? Look at this. We have a beautiful day to load the boat and start our three hour journey for our first overnight trip in this sailboat. You might remember in one of our previous videos, I ran our halyards back to the cockpit. So this is actually the first time I'm raising the sails with these halyards from back here, which is really nice. We just started our trip 15 minutes ago and we're headed down the intercoastal for about three hours to get to the island we're going to camp at. And right now we're motor sailing and the wind keeps changing direction so I'm going to adjust the sails. And there's a lot of boats out today because today is one of the nicest days we've had in about two months. Um, as we start uh, the whole deal with coronavirus out there. This is a good place to be. Now we're 30 minutes into our trip and we finally have some decent breeze, a few knots, all our telltales look good. So it's, we're still only doing about two and a half to three knots. And we have a little bit of motor on, but at least it's not windless like it was before.
we're here at the island. We just got kind of situated and spent about an hour just resting and anchoring and thinking about the tides. Now we got the boat blown up. We're gonna take a row over to the shore and explore this island. Okay, so there's Honeymoon Island. Wow. And then right after Honeymoon Island is the first Three Rooker Island. It used to all be connected and be one big island, but there's a passage in between it. <laughs> so in the video here, I don't know if you can see um, the mast of our sailboat. God, I can't see it in the camera, but um, I'll put an arrow in the video. It's over on that side of the island. And then the sun is going to set right here. Look at that, the Gulf of Mexico. It's almost flat today. It's about 75 degrees. It's perfect. Well, the sun's going down out here. We went for a hike. We met some friends on their boat and hung out with them for about an hour. And now we're making some dinner. We're anchored in about four and a half feet of water and uh, the tide's gonna go down two more feet. So we're only going to be with about six inches extra <laughs> uh, under the boat. Two point four knots. We have only one knot of wind today. We have to go home. One knot is not enough to sail. Well, it is. We sailed at about eight tenths of a knot, but when we were trying to sail at eight tenths of a knot, by the way, the sails are just kind of flogging because we're headed right into the wind right now. Um, but earlier we just sailed with the motor off, and yes, we could move forward at about half a knot or 0.8 of a knot, eight tenths, but we'd also slip sideways and because the wind is blowing in the opposite direction we want to go, it was just causing us to slip further away from home. So we have to motor again. And we kind of knew that this weekend wasn't going to be enough wind. Look at the water out here. It's just very, very calm. So, um, yeah, not as much sailing, and today would be a perfect day to really practice and get some good tacking and sailing and sail trimming in, but um, if the wind was blowing, and it's just not, so uh, trying to keep, you know, even, we're going two and a half miles an hour, we checked the wind um, anemometer, and it only read one knot higher, so we only have a one knot wind out here today. Hopefully that'll change a little while later, and we can maybe sail a little bit at the end after the drawbridge.